We here, baby. We live. We in the motherfucking What's building. good? Uh, What's good? Yeah. Chris O'Connor. Yes. Welcome to the goddamn cast. It's good to be here. It's What's nice going on? Nothing. Just chilling. Yeah. What's happening? Nothing. I just back. got back from Mechanicsburg. <clears throat> that was a nice it? night. <laughs> so Did funny, you booze man. up there or no? No, nah, no oh. boozing. Yeah. I got fucked up Saturday night for the Wilder fight. Right, right. And then... Yeah, well, you guys yeah. just were in London together. I forgot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah O'Connor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A couple of London. Oh, got at... London boys. <laughs> yeah. oh, London, London he's now. a Chelsea boy, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. O'Connor is a Chelsea boy. Chelsea supporters. You Chelsea Chelsea supporters. Boys? O'Connor was running around up to no good, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, scurrying yeah, yeah. around up to well, no good across the pond. Let me tell you. <laughs> we'll get that. What happened to your dad? What happened to your dad? Oh, house? dude, it was just uh, just being home was is so fucking funny. Like him. Dude, the the first night I went to sleep, so I was hungover from the fucking. First off, Deontay Wilder, this is insane. Deontay Wilder blamed his loss on the outfit he wore into the ring. Well, what was the outfit? That's he, fair. He was yeah. dressed like a Mortal Kombat character again. <laughs> he dresses like a Mortal Kombat Mortal character Kombat every Kombat time. Car- oh. This was like he looked like Lord of the Rings. <laughs> he was yeah, yeah. He was in the boxing ring like backpack B. Was, <laughs> he was <laughs> trying. Right. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was like Power Rangers or something. So he wore yeah. some like wild shit. He wears. Ridic- it was like a forty pound suit. And that, that wore, his wore, outfit wore him out. He said when he got into the ring, yeah. that's why his legs were shot. <sighs> Which like, there's dude, no way. I could have like I yeah. can do that. Don't tell me your leg if your legs are shot from that, yeah. you're not the heavyweight champ <laughs> right, of the world. Right, right. Also, that's on you. But they do have bird legs. Both those guys have little tiny bird legs. Yeah, but you can't blame your if <laughs> He might have been shot for that's real. That's how you get up that tall. Yeah. yeah. You gotta have it's also a good idea to wear like really weird tree. shit to, before you box. Like, well, clearly is my fucking garb fuck me up. Yeah, but if you I wear, wear lead 80 vest. pounds, like, or 40 pounds on your body, it's like, no, it's Dude, not that's every day for me, bro. Yeah, heard that, bro. <laughs> just wearing a suit. There's too much weight up top. I just walk around. That's why I'm tired every time I get it. <laughs> that's so, I mean. Deontay just walked, you know, 300 feet in my shoes. Yeah, exactly. He, was, he couldn't last a day. How's it dude. feel? He couldn't last a day He's like not, this. Yeah, you're the heavyweight champion. I might dude. have to fuck him up, dude. <laughs> he, uh, oh, bro. Also, on the same topic, I was watching, uh, dude, did you know, you know Tyson Fury is like a, like a based, dude? What? He's fucking, he's like alt right. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet. He's from Manchester. So, Tyson Fury, yeah, he's a gypsy from Manchester. So but he, yeah. oh, God, I got what you're saying. There's just an old video of him like laying on, basically doing it. There was a hot cast. He had a hot cast really? for a while. Yeah, dude, he's just laying on a couch, sitting there like, the Jews, you know, the Jews control what everybody's thinking. They control the media, and they, you know, they brainwash you with the Zionists. It's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. holy shit, dude. <laughs> Anyone can watch a YouTube How can you documentary. Be anything else? Yeah. That's, yeah, we should be exempting dudes who get punched in the head for a living from, like, their thoughts. Yeah. It's like, you hear that boxer say that fucked up thing? It's like, yeah, we should be, like, what, that. what would be funny is if they come down hard on Tyson Fury... Meanwhile, Mike Tyson's getting honored in the ring after he's been arrested for rape. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. He's got a show on Adult Swim. <laughs> Sam Hyde gets cut from Adult Swim. Mike Tyson is a cartoon. Yeah, true. Come on now. Well, yeah, they, uh, dude, uh, you know who's on like ABC right now? I mean, he didn't rape anybody, but he might as well have Chris Christie. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking blocked the bridge, bro. Fuck the bridge. He blocked he did, the he bridge. Did, he killed people. He's on ABC. Yeah. He ruined summer. He ruined beach trips. And then that dude's on AB. I mean, and again, yeah. it's like, well, I didn't do that. My aides did it. Why would your aides block the bridge without telling? That yeah, had to have on. been for yeah, you. It was, yeah, it was, it was him. He's on ABC. Uh, who's the other guy? Al Sharpton, I think, called for like violence against the Jews a long time ago. <laughs> He's on TV. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, there's fucking, a lot of How did Chris Christie smuggle his through. fucking fat ass? Uh, yeah, <clears throat> I don't know. He fucked up so bad. He, he kissed the ring. He kissed the ring on Trump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Groveled before Trump. That yeah. dude is a... They all did, dude. He is a career... Ted did. Ted he was Cruz. on ABC talking shit with uh, Papalakis dicks or whatever. Is it Papalakis? Papalakis dicks? George Soup Poop Galakis? Yeah, Papadopoulos. My mother-in-law is here now, so I like it's just American Idols on TV. George Stoop Galakis. Yeah, Christy was on there be like, I agree, George. Just somebody write me a fucking paycheck. I'll agree with you. I don't care. Fucking Ted Cruz, Trump came out and was like, Ted Cruz's wife is a dog. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. He, like, he went at his wife, dude. And Ted Cruz was like, hey, nobody comes in here and talks about my wife. That's I got a line there. And then like a month later, he's like, Donald Trump should be the next president. Yeah. These guys are all pussies. Yeah. Dude, he really, he capitulated after he went at his bay. Oh, yeah. He got his bay. Trump smoked his bay. And then <laughs> Ted Cruz got on TV and was like, now that's a line, mister. 
and I'm from Texas and down here, you don't cross lines like that. And then literally again, a month later, he was on Dude, the campaign. That was trail. like one of the first things where they were like, I don't think Trump's going to survive this. Can't yeah. go after someone's wife. Well, that's <laughs> that on like him. Really early if he on, didn't, yeah. de- if he decked Trump, he might have been the president of 2020. If True. he had been like, it's on yeah. site and like walked up, but <laughs> <laughs> you get shot though. You can't have an it's on site with a president. Otherwise you're yeah. a terrorist. That would be so funny. But if he caught it. Wilkes he... Booth. Wilkes <laughs> Booth had it on site, dude. John Wilkes <laughs> Booth was like, it's on site, dude. Ted Cruz should have called for a duel. He could have under Texas laws. That would have checked Trump shit. Be like, yo, bro, duel. Let's take it back. You want to make it great again, bro? Let's take it back to the when presidents would duel people. I think they'd. I mean, they'd both miss for a half hour. (laughs) (laughs) It would be so. It'd be great, dude. If they had a glove slapping duel, to watch Cruz and Trump wrestle on stage would be. I saw your boy Bernie last night. What was he up Both there? of you boys. Both Where? of you guys are Bernie bros. <laughs> yeah. I'm, not, I'm the only dude. one staying true to 1776. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. You were just, you were fucking Christy, dude. You were just Bernie bro last week. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. No, I watched some of Bernie, his town hall last night. He was on, he, you know, he says a bunch of good stuff that I like. He also was like, Castro is the man. I like that. That was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. No, that's, that's ridiculous. That's cost him. That's yeah. ridiculous. He's a fan of Castro. He was like, Fidel Castro said, you know, he... Right when he took power, he sent out book brigades and taught everyone how to learn. So that was a good thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's like, that's just the truth. It's Although a good book thing. Brigade, that, Not the greatest name. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it sounds better in <laughs> Spanish. Like it's, all, it's also yeah. funny. Like, well, that was a good thing. You can't take that good thing away. And it's well, like, that's what he did. That's yeah. what he was saying. It's like, well, you could do that with any sure. horrible leader. ISIS. That's when like New York Times is like, ISIS has really been yeah. whipping these towns into shape. Say what you will about <laughs> yeah, the policies. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of discipline going on in there. <laughs> yeah, I saw some like stats today. They were like, they were like, Cuba has like 99.9% literacy and like 0% homeless. You're like, yeah, just like Pat, just like Iran has zero gays. Who's doing this? Where's where this data coming from? That's but, so, uh, yeah, it's so funny. Like, and they also have a hundred percent approval rate of the president. So that's yeah. a, <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, These yeah. guys must be doing something right. Yeah, it's like it's like after Katrina when everyone's in the Superdome. It's like homelessness has dropped to near zero. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, then <laughs> let's look at the positives of Katrina. Bernie was like, somebody asked him, which was kind of a fucked up question. They were like, "You just had a heart attack." Uh, are you going to name a vice president? Because, you know, you could fucking die <laughs> during the thing. And he was like, okay, all right. <laughs> uh, and he was like, we will name a vice president. Uh, he was like, we will name a vice president soon, but I can assure you it won't be an old white man. And the crowd was like, yeah. Yes. It's like, dude, sh- don't you should be like, I also have the same heart surgeon as Dick Cheney, so. But the, I can God promise you, down, if Jesus came down, this is an old white guy. It's like you can't appoint him. <laughs> yeah. But it was like, it's the same thing. It's like, uh, it's like, dude, you, you're an old white. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. You're going to go on stage and be like, I guarantee it's not going to be an old white guy. And it's like, that's a weird thing. It's the same thing. It's almost like with comedy or like with anything where it's like a bunch of old, white, like the people booking shows. Yeah. Like on TV. Mm-hmm. They're all old white guys, and they're like, "Wow, we actually need diversity." It's right. like, "Why don't you diversify you? Right. Yeah. You fucking weirdos." True enough. I don't know. True enough, and you could also be like, "Shouldn't she be president, Mr. Sanders?" I mean, to be fair, and he'd be yeah. like, oh, "I mean, I don't have a problem with that." <laughs> yeah, you'd have. <laughs> Once to. you start playing those games, it's like someone's gonna outwoke you, and you're just gonna be like, "Yeah, that." That's yeah, pretty no, funny. The execs, the execs need diversity on screen, otherwise, people start coming for them. Yeah, it's true. It's like let's keep the. Oh, speaking of sick ass sure, diversity, I was watching uh, <laughs> this show Hunters. Have you heard of this? Oh, Have you seen this? Have you heard of this? Yeah, it's about yeah, Nazi yeah. hunters. It's on yeah. Amazon. You told me about this. Pacino's Pacino's the head Jew in charge of this. It's pretty <laughs> what sick. The fuck, dude? He plays a great Jew. Does he really? Yeah. How so? Just very, uh, as you would call it. <laughs> How would you describe a way the way you described Bernie the last episode? I don't recall. It was something like... Uh, I don't recall. All I know is we're <laughs> going to have health care and everything's going to be good. <laughs> yeah. Um, he's, no, very, he's very like... No, he just, he's good at it. Yeah. He's, you know, the old Italian sound Chewing it up. He chews it up. Yeah. Good. True. There's a fine line. There's a very... Yeah. But, uh, I feel like if an Italian tucks their pants in long enough, they become a Jew. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry. No, that's pretty bad. You got to be careful, dude. It's like being in the paint from one of the three sides. It's true. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, they're just like the if, G- yeah. If, yeah. if you don't work out as an Italian. <laughs> if, yeah, they're basically Jews that focused on meatballs instead of money. <laughs> But they spent too much time on the gravy <laughs> instead of making money. <laughs> but uh, the show, I watched, I watched, look, I could be way off on this show, but I saw it for like 10 minutes before I came in and took the remote from my sister. My, my sister was going through chemo. She's like laying on the couch. She's got, you know, it's terrible. No eyebrows, all that shit. It's yeah, fucking brutal. Sure. But she's like, she just watches Netflix now and Amazon all day. Mm-hmm. And so like I came home and I was like, turn this shit off. Like she's like, <laughs> no sympathy. Yeah. That'd be funny for your sister on chemo. Big Shane, that's enough TV, man. Do it outside and do yeah. something. <laughs> but uh, the scene I saw was like a black lesbian couple with the Nazi hunters as yeah. well as an Asian dude. And, you know, that's the crack squad they put together in the yeah. 70s, I think. Well, sorry, you had the white version of history, dude, where they left out all the black lesbians who attacked and the Nazis, all the, dude. All the Wait, bad this guys, takes place in the 70s? Yeah. Yeah, dude. All the bad guys are clearly, uh, you know, obviously white guys. It's a Nazi hunting show. I'll give them that one. But, like, yeah. the, they're, <laughs> yeah. like, sadistic, weirdo. Like, the one scene I saw was just a black family tied up at their dinner table and a Nazi going around being like, you know, flamingos are actually pure white. It's the food they ingest that makes them colored. And, like, walking around, and he's, like, shooting a tied-up black family. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, good lord, dude. <laughs> dude, weird. Are we, dude, the Look. Nazis in hiding. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if they were this audacious. <laughs> yeah. we, we've had Russians and Middle Eastern bad guys for a while. Now it's just, that's just what it is. Old white guys are the national, like, yeah, ghost of our, you know, they're, like, the fear thing. Yeah. So it's like, we're the bad guys in Middle Eastern. But uh, it's we'll, funny. The, it also sounds like something, like, a Nazi would never say. Yeah. The flamingo thing. Uh, the, you don't think, what do you think? How do you think a Nazi was summing up? <laughs> I don't I think know. It's I don't, a good Nazi fact. You think so? Like, <laughs> actually, the, they had candy back then. Like, did you know flamingos? I feel are actually like they running. cut to the chase. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some weird metaphor. The uh, what is, are they it eating? Is a weak, it, it is yeah. a weak writing point. To be like, did you actually know? Yeah. Then the there's a lesbian couple. They're in bed, and the ones talking about how German the story Hansel and Gretel was about. Actually, the witch was a Jew. And the kids threw her in an oven and took her house. What? She's like, all these, we've always, they just wanted, the witch just wanted to live in the woods peacefully. Sounds like a bit. (laughs) I know. (laughs) And it was like, I was sitting there, I was like, well, she was like, these stories affect culture and make everybody think they're the bad guys. And I was like, what the fuck show are you on? What? Your show is that story. Yeah, Your yeah. show right now is a bunch of diversity. Like oh. we gotta kill these whites. It's like, all right. Well, is it all? Is that fact checked? Because I always thought Hansel and Gretel was no, a I'm thing of sure like the witch tried to eat the kids. I thought it was yeah. I thought it was like a mother who like did too much and sucked their like fattened up their kids and you know basically your mother would gobble you up. I, I don't think it was never, a mother. I, I think the, the witch kids got lost in the woods yeah. and a witch found and them and Jew. tried to eat them. So it, they're they're, they're saying in the story that represents like, a Jew, yeah, who that was trying to eat Christian babies. It, it's not okay. It's debunked. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, Snopes. Snopes is like, well, yeah. I mean, yeah. 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 I was. I was. I was back in Mechanicsburg. I had my full white guy hat on. I was. Watch, <laughs> I was watching TV, just like, why is the white guy always dumb in every commercial? God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> oh fuck. But, That's uh, good. You went home and recharged. Recharged. I went to bed. The first night was very funny. I fell asleep. On the couch, I put on. The, I was watching XFL. <laughs> Phil was drunk. He was sitting on the recliner, and I just fell asleep. And I woke up to him talking shit. What? Like I was sleeping, and I woke up to him like, "You're gonna have to change your career." <laughs> just, <laughs> just sitting on the couch, just chirping at. He's me. an hour deep into <laughs> yeah, whatever he's been about saying. About, yeah, even subliminally. For real, he was just talking shit to me while I was sleeping. <laughs> oh fuck! And then I woke up to him talking shit. I fell asleep to him talking shit, and in the morning at like 7.30 in the morning, he was like, time to wake up. <laughs> it just started <laughs> fucking with me. You might start recording when you sleep just to see if he it comes. so fucking funny. Dude, if dude. it was like, a, what was that movie, um, Paranormal Activity? Oh, wait. Where like you're sleeping, you watch a tape, and he's just like, pussy? Yeah. <laughs> just rips the covers off me. <laughs> it's just him. <laughs> Drags you off the couch. <laughs> dude, that's exactly what it is. It's just him walking to the fridge, drinking out of it. <laughs> 
just get looking in the fridge for like two hours. <laughs> oh still. fuck! Yeah, he was I, to wake up to him talking shit. I woke up. I was like, "What the fuck are you doing? Like, what are so you doing? funny. <laughs> he thought I was awake, so he was just shit talking. It's just so funny. It's nice to know that there's someone out in the world who just has full dominion over fucking with you, <laughs> who just like won't even think about it before just giving you a bunch of shit. It's like so fucking funny. Yeah, I was laying on the couch, and he honestly, I woke up to him going with that tone, that fucking. You better, you're going to have to change careers. <laughs> Why was he talking? saying that? I don't know. I woke I, up in I the imagine, middle. Yeah. He, probably, he probably wishes you were playing the XFL. True. Oh, he probably was yeah. watching it. Like, he's like, that should be my boy out there, <laughs> these kids. So XFL isn't the Vince McMahon thing anymore. I think it is. What? He's probably attached to it somewhere. Yeah. So it's back. Yeah. So there's another viable option now for yes. uh, college athletes. Yes. I would love I see to that. see the research that they did to feel like this is plausible again. Like, how is dude, this gambling, not going to tank? All that DraftKings and online gambling, this is more uh, shit to gamble you think on. that's what it is? Yeah, dude. Mm. For sure. Gambling yeah. on XFL? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Huh. It's so fixable, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just yeah. had to watch the Mexican Open yesterday because my dad had money on that. He was like, put the golf on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not watching this. <laughs> the Mexican Open? Are there yeah. actual pros playing in that? Yeah, or? it wasn't yeah. Mexican. It was, you know. Oh, I thought it was just, PGA. I thought it was just all just caddies. Mexican golf. <laughs> it was all caddies. Oh, Chris. Ooh, classic Chris racist said racist lib. things. Oh, wow. Racist lib, dude. Come on. You are a racist lib. You think so? Definitely. Why? Proofs in the point of I've never said anything. And you're racist. racist. I don't are there yeah. a lot of Mexican caddies? Real real rap? Probably yeah. not. Yes. Good caddies. You're thinking yeah. jockeys. <laughs> a lot not of caddies. Mexican jockeys. Mexican bro. jockeys, for Ooh, sure. Man. A, they, they can a whip jock? a horse. The bro. lads and horses have a secret bond. For sure. For sure. Caballeros. Too. They're very, very equestrian people. <laughs> they are. Yeah, well, there's a. Uh, I don't know. There's a lot, of good, a lot of good caddies out there, too. Really? Yeah. Never. I don't know. Narcos did the same thing. What? The diversity thing. Oh, yeah, you said about the There Migos. was, like, females. Well, Migos was ridiculous, mm-hmm. but then there was uh, two female chick, like, two characters that were, like, trying to start their own side business within the cartel, and they did this whole thing where, like, it's like, no, what they're doing is cool. It's like, they're just badass women getting work. It's like, they're cartel leaders. Yeah. Stop. Yeah, 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 <laughs> just because yeah, they're yeah, women yeah. doesn't mean it's okay. Have it's a hard a- time buying that one. Of the cartel bosses be like, wait, something's cutting into me? It's like, nah, it's just these chicks. Like, oh, yeah. that's so badass. And no, all the cartel guys were like, what do you have a date tonight? What are you doing? And they're like, no, we're selling hair. Like they didn't, you know. Gotcha. They played it off like the men were too stupid to understand what the women were doing. Oh, okay. So they, they were like, like side of, they were yeah, like. Like shit, these like, narcos aren't constantly looking to see what's going on with the money and heroin and coke. Right, right. Like they're, <laughs> they're not like, aware of a new game No, they're just town. dumb yeah. women. You know, we don't have to pay attention to that. Yeah, that's, that's such bullshit. Yeah, it's like, come on now. They're not going to find out. Look, when you're in the streets, let me tell you guys something. Every the streets always, and they do the these. same thing in Narcos as they did in uh, what was the other? What was that fucking sick ass cartel movie? Oh, with Del um, Toro and yeah, uh, when they they go in oh, the house, uh, Sicario? Sicario, Sicario. Yeah, they do the same thing where they're like, turns out the United States is just as guilty. You guys are junkies, and it's like, all right, yeah, we know that was yeah. that was it. At the yeah, they always do that in Narcos. Well, if they had, if that country had as much money as the United States, they'd be the junkies. That's the winner circle, bro. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> when you see people like, yeah, it's party time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, how are you gonna talk shit? You can't even get into the club. Yeah, bro. You know exactly. what I mean? You're yeah, outside. Exactly. You're on the line, bro. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's that's some bullshit. Look, if like, only we could get our lives together, then this wouldn't be a problem. Yeah. No, that's dude. That's fucking celebration shit. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, we have nothing to do. Yeah, so we just gotta buy some drugs. But uh, yeah, the trip home was good. It's went to a oh, boost dude. to the local economy. Fucking went to. Uh, so Phil coaches girls high school basketball. As he should. Which, that's what I make fun of him for. When he's talking shit on me, I'm like, Dad, only pedophiles and gay dudes coach girls basketball. <laughs> Which one are you? And he's like, okay, Shane. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, maybe you're both. Maybe you're a gay pedophile. <laughs> How's he react to that? He doesn't like it. He gets, he gets upset. That's the one thing I can get him on. Did he win? No. <laughs> so funny, dude. His team's good. Like, the... They're like always. You went and watched this. I went to the oh, game. What a nightmare, dude! Oh no! How close to so him were you? All first off, going? first off, these games are like ten minutes long. Yeah, they're so quick, dude. Really? Yeah, it's like five minute quarters, running clock. Like, it's <laughs> oh, like no one gives a shit. Isn't women's Wait, basketball like? Girls? Well, go ahead. Sorry. It's high school. Oh okay. I got yeah. there. The score was like sixteen to sixteen. It's like football at half. 
And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just give them an end zone. Forget the hoop. Just like if you can dribble down yeah. to the other person's <laughs> end zone. It's <laughs> tough. Seven points. It's tough, dude. <laughs> Dribbling up the court is tough. <laughs> and they fall. They all fall so easily, dude. Oh. Everyone just falling on the court the whole time. But uh, <laughs> yeah, dude, it, it should just – it became like hack-a-shack at the end because none of them could make free throws. So they just started fouling each other. It was a war of attrition at the end of that. <laughs> Were you cheering at all? Who you rooting? No, for? I wasn't cheering, but I was laughing a lot because it was Fuck, like it was man. funny to watch like this <laughs> gym full of people that were like, "That's a fucking foul!" Like going nuts was over it these kids. Out? Yeah, Cum- the Cumberland Valley is like a good team. Like they won this. They were like ranked nationally, like number one for a while. Like it's like a Holy yeah. Shit. That's so. That's They're like a wild. good program, but it's funny to go there and see what. Like, I would always like. I mean, laying on the couch while Phil's talking shit, be like, I would drop sixty points easy against those. <laughs> your team sucks. <laughs> I could walk out today and be the best player, and he's like, Yeah. He knows. I forget the name of the girl. He always says he's like she would swatch your shit. <laughs> she would <laughs> dominate you. I went to the game after the game. We were sitting at a bar, me and Phil, and I was like, I would fucking kill them. But he was like, Yeah, you would. <laughs> <laughs> He banked on me never seeing it. Oh, <laughs> Once I God. saw it, I was like, I would destroy these Did people. Did he try to stop you from coming? Was he like, uh, yeah. yeah he, he held back. But my mom's the one who like makes me go. Oh, What's awesome. the final score? Uh, this one went into overtime. It was a th- thrilling game. I think it was like 40. Whoa. One, four, somebody, they hit a buzzer beater. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, the other team hit a buzzer beater and ran out on the court. Was it just them all below the hoop just throwing <laughs> it, it up? so or funny, what? dude. <laughs> no, it was, uh, it was like... Uh, <laughs> No, there was a lot of that. Uh, yeah. Um, it was like uh people getting seventy rebounds. Like, yeah, I got, you know, seventy rebounds, nine points. <laughs> yeah. It was like the Sixers game. It, it is funny like watching women's bet like anytime they shoot from like beyond the arc, the way they have to like load up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah, you gotta touch the ground. Like you gotta touch the ball to the ground and come yeah, up. Yeah. yeah, a lot of jumping during free throws. <laughs> a lot of jump shots from the foul line. <laughs> which is pretty funny to is see. Is that illegal? No. You just can't cross the line. Yeah, right? you can shoot that way. How many dunks? No dunks. What? There were no dunks. Dude, you stop. It was it was tough for me not to revert back to my old ways, though, and hit the concession stand. Be like, Mom, can I get 50 cents? <laughs> <laughs> it was, was hard, dude. That was my next question. Can I get was, some fun dip? What was that hitting for? What was the concession stand all about? Dude, the, I'm, the price to get in the game was $4. Concession, yeah. you're sitting at 50 cents for M&M's, bro. It's a good deal. You want oh, some, yeah. Also, what I was thinking about the whole time was the kids are not hot. Really? That, it made that whole show, uh, Euphoria, way weirder. Hmm. I was sitting there like, good Lord, someone wrote a show about high school kids fucking. Oh, yeah. Uh, and being like hot sluts. Ew. Yeah. Very, when you yeah, see yeah. a high school kid, you're like, they're holy shit, so, these are kids. Yeah, yeah, oh, they're yeah. babies, It's dude. crazy. They're yeah. babies. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Yeah. I'm in high school right now. They're literally, they look like little babies. Yeah. When you see like grades, middle schoolers, they like, look like toddlers. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah, the fact that... Drizzy Drake's out there producing a show about kids being hot sluts. Like, yeah, slow down, bro. That's fucking weird, dude. <laughs> slow down, dude. Don't make it so obvious. He's making that. Damn, the pitch must have been awesome. Like, yo, you know how hot high school girls are. He's like, you have my attention. <laughs> Go on. Go on. Yeah, it's like put hot high put hot college kids in a high school situation. You got a good show. Yeah. What do you mean? The show. They yeah, the cast, show is, like, yeah, older cast. Oh, right. That's like, what they did. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I thought you were talking some real life shit. I was like, oh, no. go on. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. You have my attention. <laughs> you instantly became that guy. <laughs> I'm intrigued. Uh, but yeah, the buzzer beater at the end was great. That's I was awesome. very excited to throw it in Phil's face. I'm like, oh, Central got- York came in here and beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh. They wore you down. Yeah. I was like, they wanted it more. They just yeah. wanted it more. He's like, no, our kids wanted it too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was pretty fun. Oh, my God. That's so fucking awesome. Getting Phil fired up about his basketball team must be yeah. the funniest thing to argue about. Yeah, getting him going about these. I'm like, why don't you coach guys, you fucking weirdo? What is this? I keep making fun of him for being a weirdo. <laughs> He's pervert. like, Shane, come on. Come I'm on. a pervert. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So he shot, play? Did he, was he a big basketball guy? Did he, play? he played basketball, yeah, yeah, until his senior year. Well, he played in high school, and then in college, he just played football. Oh yeah. fuck! You got to start going to like <laughs> telling him he goes to like the adult section at like bookstores, <laughs> <He goes> to, <laughs> like magazines. <laughs> <laughs> He's <a> pervert. <laughs> Call him a pervert. Call him your dad a pervert. It's so funny, dude. I couldn't, dude. 
Yeah, it's he, a fight. He'd, he'd be like, no, seriously, what <laughs> yeah. the fuck's that about? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even now, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Be weirdos bad. and perverts are pretty synonymous. Yeah, but your dads aren't talking you shit to sleep. Right. Yeah. You know what true, I mean? He's not true. giving you a lullaby of just he, talking shit. He'll talk shit, but like, if I ever hit him with like pervert or sexual shit, he's like, whoa, cool. cool. Yeah, yeah, what, yeah. What are you doing? No, that's a, that's Phil's line yeah. for sure. He's like, what are you doing? Come whoa, on. whoa, stop. Okay, Shane. <laughs> that's about it. Okay. All right. Enough. <laughs> Enough. But yeah, then I go home. the The house is the, the group's falling apart. Really? Yeah. Phil had that cancer too. He got a chunk out of his nose. Yeah. <laughs> He's walking around with like a mangled face. <laughs> He's turning into the outsider. The Phantom of the Opera. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like the outsider. He sets his foot up. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, he's got that. My other sister, you know, sister's got cancer, dude. And it, it's like it sucks to see like the the chemo where like you lose all your fucking hair. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like her eyebrows are gone and her head. It's like Jesus. Eyelashes probably. Too. Yeah, yeah. And she was sitting on the fucking recliner, and my mom walked in and was like, "Phil," because <laughs> she saw the top of her head, oh. <laughs> saw the bald head. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's disconcerting, man. When yeah. you see someone who just full it, it all comes it takes out. it out of you. Yeah, like man. just looking at them is like, oh, yeah. Then you get used to it right away. But like yeah. the first, because I always forget, and then I'll come home and see her and be like, "Shit, that's a rough one." Yeah, it's like when yeah. you see your parents starting to get old, and you're like, they like hit you with a quick geezer face, and you're like, ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My dad, my dad's definitely going geezer. Yeah, you can. My tell. mom's been geezer, but my dad like whole fuck up drive. We talked about it that one time. My dad like just slammed on the brakes, <laughs> almost <laughs> crashed for no reason. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck was that? He's, he's in the. Yeah, he's in. He the got th- like scared. I could see like the geezer in him get like, oh. oh, oh. Yeah, he's yeah. entering his third season of True Detective. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a geezer, dude. My dad had that moment. Yeah, he was like backing out of our driveway and and was just like was struggling with it and he goes mother my death perception is shot fuck fuck man but yeah it was uh it was good it was good to go back to mechanicsburg nice good to see everybody i was thinking of you last night yeah it was nice it was nice being there went to the coffee shop by my house which is like a christian coffee shop what (laughs) so weird dude that's awesome it's so weird one of the they had like a chalkboard that was like, "Who was your favorite president ever?" And of course, there was a bunch of Trumps, but one of them was <laughs> yeah. just in chalk like Trump twenty twenty. Then one of them was like, "Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior forever," and everyone was like, "Yeah." <laughs> yeah they have yeah, one of those like, at my gym, like a communal chalkboard. Like, what are you thankful for? It's just like I look at it every time. I'm like, man, this sucks. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna start writing some more religious shit on there. Yeah, just bro. Like get Proverbs. some Bible verses. Yeah. Get some like fucked up Bible verses and write them on there. Nobody's gonna look them up. I yeah. might, yeah, I might do find the, like some real like revelations. I might just say the revelations, the grapes of wrath. That's where grapes of wrath comes from. Where it, it, they said it would take the people and squeeze them like grapes, and their blood would run into the rivers. That's Damn. where the grapes of wrath came from. Holy man, yeah, just taking people and just fucking juicing them. Mm. Pretty tight. Yeah, imagine thinking about that. What the All apocalypse years ago? What? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean. <laughs> Obviously, it had to do with I their. There's a lot of that going around. Their God concept was messed up. I think John. They're looking at a perfect God, but obviously, subconsciously, you know, the vengeful Christ came through. Just. Yeah. I think John was just. He just had a rough hangover. You know what I mean? Just out on that island by himself. <laughs> Wasn't he on some, like, shitty island? I think, I think so. he was on some shitty island, like, hallucinated when he wrote Revelations. Well, he was, he was trying to take the Jesus thing and it being like, no, 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 Jesus is all good. Like, forget the Old Testament. He's the man. And then that, apparently, he just, like. And he's like, and I had a weird dream last night where God came down and crushed us all and wrote about <laughs> yeah, it. I was yeah, like, but yeah, yeah. look, you got nothing to worry about. Uh, uh, we'll That's not going to happen for a long, long toss time. Toss us in at the end of the book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine reading the Bible for the first time and then you get to the end like, what the fuck? <laughs> like the yeah. New Testament's all like this nice, good stuff. And then you get to the last book and you're like, geez. You're like, what the fuck was that about? What the fuck? Yeah, monsters? dude. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, uh, Answer to Joe by Young it just deals with that whole thing. Oh, like, nice. why it started like nasty Old Testament God, kind of got nice. God's trying to become a human the whole time during the Bible, becomes a human, murders himself. It's weird. <laughs> and then at the end, just, Jesus comes back and he's like, Jesus is here. And he's like, with a hammer, and, the, not a hammer, with a sickle, and just murders us all. And yeah. he's like, fucking dorks. And we're like, what the fuck yeah, is this? Doesn't he lead like uh, the Jew army yeah. in Jerusalem? He raises them all from the dead. So yes, and something storms to, Jerusalem. Yep, he's, he's basically uh, the dude from Game of Thrones. Like at the end. He's a bad guy from Game of Thrones. Yeah, true. And he he comes, is the Ice King at the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, dude, I'm telling you, it's like reading. I have to read it again because so much of it goes over my head. But like, you deal with that whole narrative and like 
how it comes from all like the Greek, all the weird Greek stuff. And dude, it's bizarre. Yeah, I don't know anything about the Bible, really. Yeah, of course you don't. Yeah. Protestant. Protestant no, no. wasp. No, I'm Catholic. Protestant. I'm Catholic. It's it's very Catholic to know nothing about the <laughs> Bible. Real. It's like the most Catholic thing you can do. Yeah, you didn't go to Catholic school, bro. No, no, no. But no. I did. I did go Sunday to like, school. Yeah, I went to Sunday school, and then we had like. Do you fuck with anything in the people's desks? No. All right. No, still, I still yeah, got that's beef. The move. I still got beef with public school kids who fucked with my desk. I fucked I with Sunday the desk. School. You were in Sunday school? Uh, yeah, up until fifth grade, I went to public school. Oh, we, we, it wasn't in the school. It was like in the church. Yeah, Sunday. we had CCD. Oh. Yeah. CCD. And we, we had CCD. CCD. Yeah. Kids oh, would going, come into our. But desk. all my friends played football. Like I played Catholic sports. So like they were all my gotcha. friends and teammates, so I'd fuck with their desks. Dude, pretty I pretty fun. I would switch look. a pencil case. <laughs> <laughs> That's big time. I used to keep flavor blasted goldfish in my desk. So I'd come in and like rattle it, like motherfuckers, dude. Those poor fucking public kid, school kids pinched my goldfish again. <laughs> yeah, dude. I would go I arranged and... my books so that like they all fit in and I could have a carton of flavor blasted so I could open them and dispense flavor blasted. <laughs> I can't believe they let kids do that. Oh, they didn't. I got. That was the reason that snacks got taken away from everybody. And then we got to put our snacks all the way on the other side of the room. And then my cousin sat next to the snacks and he ate everybody's snacks. <laughs> <laughs> it was a nightmare, dude. It was a total nightmare. No, I mean I can't believe they like. So you got, did you guys went to Catholic school? Yeah. And public school kids would come in on the weekends and sit no, at your desk at night, like once a week yeah, at yeah, night. Yeah. You we would go in and go to the Catholic school and you just sit in a classroom for like an hour. What was that like? Jesus it sucked. I hated it. I fucking hated it. Yeah. I remember a religion class just being the dumbest ways, just sitting there and be like, well, what, what do you guys think he should do? And they're like, pray. And they're like, correct. And you're like, yes. <laughs> it was like the stupidest, easiest yeah. class. I remember being yeah. like, well, I got a 97 in religion. This is fucking tight. All our teachers were like hot single moms, though. What? Yeah. Because, they're, you know, they're like trying to get a Oh, you're up in like Gilmore what? Girls area. No, no, no. I mean, that, that's up there. Chris, <laughs> yeah, you're Greenwich Village. I've never Gilmore, seen I'm trying Gilmore to deny where you're from. Greenwich Village. It's near like the Cape. Greenwich, Connecticut. Vineyard. Sorry. It's near the Vineyard. No, no, no. It's Greenwich Gilmore Village, village please. <laughs> <laughs> village. I would never live in the village. Greenwich, <laughs> Connecticut, God. please. There's no way to get out from With the yachts. There's with no the way. boats. <laughs> Dude. So last night, this is actually, this was pretty tight. Damn, dude. I wish I spent more time on boats. You got it, dude. I wish I did. Why don't you? I well, it's closed. That those doors have sort of closed. Get a little, get a little Lundy. A Lund? What's a Lundy? A little Lundy, little you know, little boat, little tiny fishing, like a tiny yeah dinghy, little fishing boat. Put a little motor. Let's get you out to sea. (laughs) We gotta get you out of the open sea. I think the ocean would do me some good. I think so. I yeah. You look, you, you might there. be an old school seaman, dude. Yeah, I, I could feel that. Just like you yeah, look like, yeah, you should sailor, be at a lighthouse. <laughs> you should live at a lighthouse <laughs> away from society just every day. Just like what <laughs> is going on here? <laughs> so a boat goes past. It's like you're supposed to turn. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> yeah, it would also just just coming back from 20 years of that and be, and people being like feeling like I did something really important and people oh no we've had GPS though yeah we've been <laughs> ignoring that thing. Yeah, yeah. oh you were out there <laughs> Jesus people like climbed the tourists go to the top and like ah fuck. <laughs> what is this guy doing here uh, yeah man I uh I want to take uh, I want to eventually go to Galapagos when my when my kid becomes like 10 I want to go that's my long term plan pretty tight. Yeah. go to Galapagos for like two weeks be awesome you yeah. can only only so many people a year can go Right, so, so. you got to sign up now, probably. Nah, I didn't think about that. I probably yeah. should. <laughs> you got to like get on the Fuck. waiting list. <laughs> yeah, but I, I feel like, man, it'd be really disappointing to take your kid to something, something like that, and have them not appreciate it at all. I don't no care. way a kid would appreciate. I like yeah. it, so I'll be like, this is awesome. Yeah. It's also though, but you would say. It's like the zoo, though. It's your like, bay, your bay won't appreciate it either. Bays will not appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, they like animals. Some bays love animals, dude. That's, Bro, love animals. Going take, to the zoo. Yeah, they they want to go to the zoo. They don't want to go to Galapagos, the Galapagos Islands. I'm yeah, off. Like, I'll have to look into it. I feel, yeah, I feel like I, I, that's very like, welcome feedback. I feel like yeah. you can't blue ball because I'd be pissed. More I'd be pissed. taking them to like an exotic location with no resort. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's no resort. Just watching, like, dude. What, like, I was reading about Just migratory turtles. patterns of yeah. salmon last night. Amazing. Really, dude. They know they're. It's like chemical scent trail, and they use star constellations and uh electromagnetism yeah to find their way they're like pinging around on some weird system birds i think do the same thing it's crazy they actually like uh yeah like they're very like sensitive to the like magnetic north and south 
Ah. I think that helps them like, and they said humans are kind of the same way. I think my mom was telling me about some like experiment they did where they like, I don't know. I used to get lost in Boscovs. It must have been the the shopping (laughs) shopping sensors throwing you, spitting you out. Well, that's what that's what she was saying. They like they put some people like on a bus with like like magnets like near their head, and they're like they got totally disoriented. They like had much like a much more difficult time like finding their way back. I might have a magnet in my head. That makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> my mom thinks Got a that. little off course yesterday with that <laughs> business plan. I did. I did. I did. I was. Uh, I'm on a. Uh, I've. I've started to learn that I have like mood wise. I'm very cyclical. I might have like light yeah. bipolar, but it's fine. No big deal. The. I'll, so I'll get like last week. I was just like, oof, real bummed. I'm like, man, that's not gonna work out, bro. Pack it up. You just are. A you just time suck. to find a new time career. To find a new <laughs> just every every like three weeks. I'm like, dude. Give it up. Yeah. And then it'll like accelerate. So like this week is I've been all just like, like nonstop idea download where I'm like, oh shit. Oh, what was that one? Oh fuck it, dude. And it's like, I'm riding a sick manic crest right now. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, this is tight. This is tight. So once you realize, once you were able to go like, now when I get bummed, I'm like, yo bro, it's coming. Oh yeah. Oh it's yeah. It's coming. Right, right. And then it just, and I zoom right back up. So it also has to do if I go to the gym and you know, so that's my gym pattern is like hard for two weeks. Then I miss one day, and then I miss three weeks. Yeah. And then I hit it fucking hard again. So it's all, once you figure out your cycles, it's pretty tight. Yeah. My mom has a thing about solar flares. She thinks she thinks solar flares, like, fuck with us. At least give us, like, a regular it's, heartbeats and stuff. I guess it's po- anything's possible, I guess. <laughs> I think, but, dude, magnets, dude? You don't think some magnets come out of the sun? Come on now. <laughs> I don't know if magnets come out. Come on, bro. Magnets nuclear, that's nuclear, dude. I don't think magnets come out. But don't, I, don't even get me started on the fucking meta pattern of spheres in general, dude. The meta yeah, pattern? Of spheres, dude, man, I feel like you you collect jar. You are a magnet for jar. <laughs> jar just, just sticks to you. It's like, all right, explain it. <laughs> I don't the know. Meta, I'm, the meta pattern of spheres. Well, spheres are one of them. Spheres, rods, cones. There's so many. Dude, it's, <laughs> it's if, spheres, when it, rods, cones. Dude, so <laughs> just naming shapes. If you think about a planet, if you think about it, so the sun. What makes the sun a body? It's it's like what nuclear fusion. So there's outside forces that condense it to the point where it can no longer condense. That's yeah. what creates a sphere. The moon, gravity condenses matter to the point where it can't condense anymore. A baseball, what shapes a baseball? Outside forces, rules of the sport, psh, shape the diameter and size. I mean, this, this goes wait, on. Th- wait, wait, when an ant, dig, mean, when an ant digs in the dirt, what shape anymore. pops out when an ant digs an anthill, an anthill, a sphere? It's just, don't, just sorry. Just, sorry You're I saying this there's up. a lot of spheres. Wait. <laughs> you, so you've gathered that there are spe- spheres. <laughs> wait, yeah, I, I, I thought the only going. thing preventing a, a like a... I didn't star read the whole book yet. A <laughs> star from condensing anymore is just there's not it's not there's not enough matter it's still pulling in. But why? Because the spheres, just, dude. Why? <laughs> spheres. Oh, there's spheres. Excuse me, dude. Because yeah, yeah, the yeah, spheres. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty sure on this book is, it just keeps condensing. It's a dead right. star. You want to talk? You know about black holes? Dead. What? What do you know about stars? <laughs> what do I know Let's about stars? Let's have an astronomy off right now. <laughs> right here, if, right now. Look, Chris, if you're if you know remotely anything about this you're gonna win no he's I'm gonna like, hit you with jargon and that's all he's got you want to talk he's... space talk i'll talk space talk right <laughs> now yeah, you try yeah, to talk yeah. space talk i'll kill space well, talk. black hole is just a more dense star it's a dead star dude i don't know if it's dead <laughs> first of all it, it has Still to be sucking what stuff size in. star has to be not every dead star becomes a black hole it has to be a certain size of a star yeah, yeah, but if if it's just like come up, yeah, just yeah. say red, red giant. <laughs> That's one. Say white dwarf. Right, but eventually, white dwarf eventually we're all gonna get sucked <laughs> into that? black white, holes. White, uh, white dwarfs, I don't think become black holes. Like we're getting sucked <laughs> towards a black hole right now. I have a theory that black holes are why we spin around in the orbit we do. That's not. I think black holes are not, gravity. That's not your theory. That's a. Well, I'll co-author it. Whoever else can go through. I'll, I'll <laughs> no, I think there all. is. There's there's, pl- <laughs> I don't know. If, well, it's not just black holes, right? Like any, like the the process of starting that spin is the same as like a tornado or a hurricane getting. Like the the you applying Earth science to outer space, bro. Yeah, it's all it's all the same <laughs> physics, dude. Dumbass. <laughs> it's all the same physics. Are you applying yeah. nature to nature? <laughs> yeah. So people forget that space is just nature. I heard that, bro. Come on, man. Yeah. Yo, I heard that. Please. Space you, is you also think nature. you think matter's conscious? <laughs> yep. Uh, <laughs> I think it depends on the matter, right? What? Like we're we're made up of matter, but we're a conscious system, right? Yeah. But I don't think like true. Well, I don't think like this mm-hmm. is conscious. I don't think this table is like feeling stuff. Okay. <laughs> 
Fair enough. <laughs> you yeah. do. Sure. Interesting. You heard it first. Yeah. Chris O'Connor doesn't Chris think matter is conscious. Think tables think. That's the thing that fucks up science, like rationalist scientific people. It's like, well, if matters. All it is. Well, I how think we science conscious. is open to the idea that a table could be conscious, but there's just no. I'm not talking tables, bro. <laughs> what are you talking? About? I'm talking star stuff. Atoms. What do you think tables are made out of? Atoms. They're made out. We're made out of the same stuff. Matt, it's just different order. You know, tables are made out of star stuff. Uh, you know, this table is actually a bunch of spheres presenting as the illusion of a table. Excuse me. What? <laughs> this table is made up on a fundamental atomic level as spheres. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's mostly empty I don't, space. Yo, don't even get me started. <laughs> it is. All right. I'm sorry. That was a diversion. I was, I'm hype right now because I did a. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Jesus last Christ. night. Last. <laughs> last night. So you know I have my deep dives right where I do like you get stoned moderate amount of THC and I go <laughs> he gets total high quiet. and learns about <laughs> spheres. <No. laughs> it's like whoa, spheres are everywhere. How well, does that not induce an anxiety attack after it does an, an hour? You have yeah, to work yeah, through yeah. that. That's no. the problem. It translates. <laughs> <Just> avoid it. <laughs> it translates yeah. the other aspects. You're not getting anything out of it. No. Avoid it. Dude, I'm, I'm, I've already transcended tons of my social anxieties. My t- my I typically dissociate. I didn't know that. I learned that. I'm I'm on like a semi dissociated state like fifty percent of the time. I'll be like in a class, people are doing stuff, and I just go like Meh, and check out, and I'll be like fucking like come back into it. Not yeah, like just, a boredom dissociation, like a discomfort dissociation, but that's a whole nother like topic. not daydreaming, Something not daydreaming. Else? It's a protective mechanism where it's just kind of like like I realize when I talk to my parents, I'm like semi dissociated. I like sit down with them, and I'm like, man, I'm with my parents now. I'm, I'm thinking about the fact that I'm thinking about what being. Yeah, with you're my parents. code switching for your parents. Sort of not, but it's dissociating is just a dual consciousness. So it'd be like rather than like sitting here all talking, if I were talking, but sitting here kind of shrunk back in in myself, thinking about the fact that we're talking, and be like, Ooh. that's when you dissociate. <laughs> that oh, that just seems like normal human interaction right no. like if i'm around my parents i'm going to talk with them about different stuff than i would talk with you it's guys different. about it's different that's that's just you know, that's just monitoring your speech i'm talking about dissociating it's hard to explain i used like to get it when feel, i went on like job you're interviews. not matt mccusker when you're talking to your parents no like so a job interview is a better example i would sit in a job interview and the person would be talking to me and i'm i'm listening to them but i can't hear a word they're saying because i'm hearing myself think yeah yeah, yeah that's yeah, dissociating yeah, yeah, yeah. they're like it's, it's girlfriend stories yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's what it's called. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. a girlfriend story, dude. Yeah. True. So I'm doing. And you can't uh, help it. You can't help it. I've tried so hard to not fall into the disassociated yeah, yeah, state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when a girl this girl story starts, it's just like. Ugh. So Next you time, start strategizing. It's like, how can I end this story and also keep her yeah. happy? Like, well, is there a way? Is there a thing I could say <laughs> to collapse this? Story Do you think that's what happens to? to something else? Hold on. Do you think that's what happens to female comics? Oh, well, you get, think the whole audience just instinctively goes into disassociative <laughs> thought? <laughs> it's not their fault, dude. It's not their fault. Oh, it's just everybody's fuck. trained to have girl talk. So once girl talk starts, everyone's just like, uh. The, the female comics are just murdering, and there's, everyone's just like, uh. <laughs> just that's like a protective trauma mechanism. Like, uh. It's like an EMP. <laughs> this is like a frequency. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but dude, the, uh, that's so fucking funny. <laughs> The so I started Damn, doing the sucks. um the deep dive is when you go pure silence like quiet meditative music. I did the opposite last night. I'm like, let's mix it up. And I listen I I googled <laughs> intense dubstep and got stoned and put the headphones on. That's wild. That's fuck it. That yeah, was like a, that was the warhead challenge, dude, of like sitting there for like <laughs> fucking two at listen to an entire like intense dubstep song. It's like and it, like it changes like every four seconds. Yeah. It's like a different song. That was fucking nuts. I, I don't. Yeah, I, that's pure sensory overload. How do you do that? I would have just thought about how fucking corny the guy who made it you was. Would have that's dissociated. what I was gonna say. Yeah, you would just have dissociated. Like, it's a protective mechanism. You guys would have This is too. This fucking dubstep drop is way too brutal for me right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, what was this guy? Like, what is this guy trying to do to me? I literally. Why did he make this? Thing? I got the feeling of social anxiety while I was listening to dubstep last night. I was just like, oh, fuck, I don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> 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 I can't handle the world if this is what it is. Yeah, dude, dubstep is if you get as stoned as you can. I don't. This is just for fun and giggles. It's like a fucking roller coaster, dude. Yeah. Close your eyes to get like as high as you can, and then just fucking listen to some dubstep. It's like, dude, who the fuck listens? This is crazy. Yeah. What is this? It's like robot heavy metal, dude. It's fucking yeah, it's, weird. I feel that way when I watch like a movie. If I'm like too high, I'm just I think about all the people who went into making that movie and like 
whether I could ever be someone to like organize that group of people, I'm just like I don't have I don't have that. You I start don't, directing like, the movie, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just people chiming in with like maybe we should do this, and you're just like ah, uh, yeah, I wouldn't be able to do it. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be able to hold it together. The thing would fall to pieces. Like whenever I see a movie that's totally disorganized, like I'm, I'm like that's what I would have made. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just letting anyone just bully me into their idea. Yeah, that's, yeah. that would be, yeah, that's dissociating. That would be when you know in your head, this is not what I want to do, and you're like, okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good idea. Well, I also have that thing where, like, sometimes someone will suggest something, and it's like, I can't, I can't explain perfectly why that's a bad idea right now, but I just know that it is. Yeah. You know? And is but then they have a good argument, and I'm like, ah. Yeah. Do you ever listen to other people's good arguments? <laughs> yeah. sometimes, sometimes, maybe when we're in London. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's ego strength, dude. That's what it, people, you know, yeah. people always talk about like yeah. ego death. I'm going to get ego death. You can convince yourself like ego death, but you're, you just need to build up the opposite ego strength so that you're yeah. not constantly trying to escape your reality because you're just like, uh, I don't want to do that, but okay, fine. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to kill my ego. I'm just too. It's like, no, dude, you should probably build that up. Ego strength is being able to withstand that and being like, I disagree. Yeah. It's also just life. Respectfully. Senator, life I disagree. <laughs> Shane's got, you have you good lie. ego strength. Thanks. And people will hate on it. People with weak ego strength will then project and be like, you're an egomania. And it's like, no. Yeah, you do have good ego strength. You have good ego Thanks. strength. Dude. Not this strong is, enough. This is strength-based podcast. <laughs> Not strong this is strength enough. Based well, you're podcast. also a curious cat. This is a strength-based yeah, podcast. <laughs> you're also a curious cat. Well, you guys want to leave me hanging for five oh, minutes? Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a strength-based podcast. Channeling Andrew. No. <laughs> oh, dude, what? I gotta check on. I got some things going on in 1914. Oh yeah, oh. dude. I mean, me and England are having a, a bit of a disagreement here. Really? Yeah. Iceland, yeah. Greenland came in and liberated Ireland. And I was like, bro, I'm taking Ireland. Enough of this. Well, Greenland just got attacked. And then Greenland started getting attacked by Shat Nation. Yeah. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna go take Ireland. England came back and took it while I was sending ships. So I, I, I DM'd uh, England. I said, "You better, better stop. Give me that territory. Fuck you up. Yeah, give me that territory. I'm just gonna fuck him you up. Go, yeah, I'm, I'm fighting Mother Russia right now, dude. dude. The, the ultimate, the ultimate. What happened to Brian Six? <laughs> That's the question. That's a good Where question. Where is Brian Six in all this? Let's talk well, about that. I'm hearing a he lot of England border. chatter. I'm hearing a lot of English France, chatter. France, France left its worried. border open. Yeah, and, and the Ray, the Ray from Spain. Dude. El Ray came in and fucked his shit up, dude. Oh, no, nah, I fucking killed Beezer. <laughs> He's not happy about Beezer it. was in the coalition. It's me, Shane, Shat Nation. Shat Nation's, Shat Nation's a problem, problem bro. <laughs> this know. dude's got a lot of territory. He's quickly expanding. And, you know. Yeah. Hey, I'm, we're allies. We but, are allies. But Beezer was our ally, too. Shane Beezer was just <laughs> murdered. I know, I know, I know. I was there. I was there when On he started doing it. day 30 of this yeah, game. Yeah, like, yeah. he invested time into this game. Well, he did abandon his post. <laughs> yeah, he was. I, I didn't think did he was playing. And then as <laughs> they, soon as I attacked, it. he was like, what the hell? <laughs> There's a newspaper. So, like, you check the newspaper because, like, you can write yeah. articles and submit propaganda, which is so fucking fun. Yeah. And the... Uh, I saw that Beezer, like, you know, leader Beezer has abandoned his post. So, like, we're... Beezer Mussolini. If you don't go on for... Like, yeah, Beezer <laughs> Mussolini. If you don't go on for three days, it says you abandon your post. And then it's just like... Or, you know, it's like playing a computer, basically. They just yeah. kind of artificial intelligence. Which, actually, I, I, atta I attacked preemptively. Because if he wasn't playing, France is right there on my border, dude. Yeah. I had to. Uh -huh. I, was, I had uh, to do it. There was nothing against I Beezer. Saw the the machines rose <clears throat> up in France. I saw the map and I was True. never I was never quite comfortable with Beezer's position. <laughs> like, Why? Just because he's between you and everyone you want to fight. <laughs> oh, so I knew he, he was gonna get trampled. <laughs> we, had, we, had, we had like a like little Black Friday. <laughs> <laughs> True, it was. Dude. The beach. <laughs> I fucking killed him right away, and it took like twenty minutes. Oh, Literally, was... I just get, walked through him. Well, Beezer's like I'm attacking Greece, and I was like monitoring the map, and I was like. He sent like seven people to Greece. And I'm like, well, that's not going to do it. They have like 150 people. Yeah. So Beezer just got murdered in Greece. And then I look over <laughs> and Shane just wiped him out. It was funny because I was taking out Greece. And I'm like, as soon as I take out Greece, I'm going to take out Beezer. <laughs> so, so the sharks were circling, dude. Dude, he was. Beezer he was, was weak. He's got a lot of wheat going on in there. Yeah, he had some There's good resources. A, yeah, he had good yeah. resources. And uh, look, I'm going to need France if I'm going to invade 
England. I know. I, know. I, I know. need also, France. You're going to give him. He's, he was going to give. We were going to give Beezer a small territory in the Middle East because I have the entire yeah. African Middle Dude, East. <laughs> like there, yeah, he's going to give Beezer a small territory in the Middle East that would surround it by both of our. <laughs> yeah, let him live. <laughs> just build one guy every three yeah. days. Just attack him like three days, so he only have like two troops. <laughs> yeah. to leave it go. That's yeah. classic Shat Nation fashion. <laughs> you got to. Yeah, we're going to give him a little land, but it's Sh- dude. I couldn't. Yeah. I couldn't let him have. It's any. like when they send like an African dictator to just some like. Yeah. I couldn't. I couldn't give him one island. I couldn't give him any territory. If you're gonna, if you're gonna go to war, you got to vanquish your enemies 100%, entirely. If, he, if, you, if I kept him alive at all, he would have tried his hardest to come it's back. Also, yeah, just so funny being like, he left his whole border open. It's, yeah, he thought you were friends. <laughs> <laughs> Don't trust anybody. What are you doing? That's so fucking funny. Yeah, it was, so dude, 90, it's heating up. It's fun. The game's so deep at this point, I'd be relieved for someone to take me out, dude. All the anxiety I get you from say 1914. That, but it, so far, you're undefeated in wars. I've been, imagine if you start to lose one of those. I it can't would imagine be, it. It would be frustrating. Dude, I can't imagine. Like, I was thinking about the people that I've taken out. They have to be like, oh, this really sucks. Oh, every when time. they do the numbers, and they're like, oh, this guy just has more people. That-. Dude, also yeah. playing that game, you know, it's like it just pulls that stuff up, and you're like, oh, shit, I don't have enough wheat. And you're like... Fuck, I'm gonna take this guy's shit. And it's like <laughs> yeah, yeah. I understand now. In real life, when I hear like we go in other countries, I'm like, well, have you checked our wheat supplies, dude? Yeah. Yeah. If we were running out of fucking oil. We had to. What are you, what are you talking about? Oil. Yeah. We just went for the oil. It's like, yeah, dude, our barrels were low. We got in the red numbers. You yeah. had to ramp them up. Yep. And they're sitting on double oils. Yeah, they're sitting on everywhere. D- double like, oils. Ob- and they have one guy on each thing. It's like obviously <laughs> we're going over there. <laughs> obviously we're going obviously the USS Michael Jackson's on its way. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> Oh, the fuck. SS Michael Jackson is on its way. It has to. That game made me gave me a new perspective on uh like global geopolitics. politics. Yeah. yeah. Global oh yeah. Politics. Yeah. 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 I'm like, yeah. well, all right. Now I can see you playing this game. Yeah. Corruption Sometimes you got to take our shit. Protection. <laughs> uh-huh. Corruption. Corruption is our protection. Corruption. Say that again. Explain that. I'm more about outer space. Explain the politics. <laughs> yeah. oh. oh well, look. Sometimes you know. Sometimes you gotta you know do some stuff in the Middle East to make sure China doesn't get access to that oil. You know. Ah. You gotta choke the blood to the brain a little bit, you know. Ooh, okay. <laughs> yeah. He's a dude. Yeah. He's a, a war hawk, dude. <laughs> yeah. He's a liberal war yeah, hawk. Yeah, look, you know. What's your favorite modern conflict going on right now? <laughs> <laughs> I like the drone strikes in Yemen. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't. I look, I don't. I don't know what's going on, but I trust our. Boys. You support war. I trust You're not our for boys. it, but you support it. Yeah, I. Sur- I well, not w- intervention. <laughs> I, I like meddling. I believe yeah. we should be you meddling. Like meddling. I, I intervened meddling. on Beezer. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I had to yeah. intervene. True. Yeah. It was just a classic intervention. Right, right. You're basically UNICEF. You went in there, helped him out. Helped him out. The stuff's in your name now, but uh, he's still around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All good. He's still all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like... Real life, I would have executed him. <laughs> I would have put Beezer against the wall. You'd have had to. Had to. Can't let your enemies live, dude. That's how... Uh, fuck, who's that guy? Solzhenitsyn. He went out. They threatened firing squad on him. And he was like, give it to me. I'll take it right now. And the soldiers only had blanks. And they were like, fucking dick. Get out of here. <laughs> they were trying to scare him out of it. And he was like, fucking let's go. Damn. Yeah, he faced the firing squad. Which, first of all, I'm like, why do they have blanks? I guess they wanted to like spook him out. Like, poof, poof, let a couple yeah, shots Yeah, there's off. a thing where they give like one or two guys a blank. So uh, that you can all be like, no, I didn't kill him. Right. Yeah. Especially with like deserters. That makes sense, yeah. yeah. Because with deserters, the the troop that really fucks morale up, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, that's if you're true. You're killing your own guys. Yeah, I, I watched a documentary on the IRA doing that with their peeps. Really? People that would like rat out to the British, they get just like disappeared or whatever. Yeah, murder them. Yeah, and they would do that. They'd like take them out to some like doom, and they have like three or four people. With that guns. is that's cool to think. I mean, well, maybe yeah, it's still cool to think about how <laughs> no matter what we're doing, it does involve some people getting murdered at some level. Like somebody has to bite the dust. Yeah, snitches get stitches. Dude, man. even like the presidential. Think about, think about how many people die every year around the presidential, or every four years around. There's people getting killed around the presidential election race. There's guys who are like, I got the DOS, and people are like, <laughs> that, <laughs> like that, people are definitely getting murdered over there. If you people are so? getting murdered over like small drugs and shit, you don't think people are getting murdered over billions of dollars? A lot. Yeah, it'd be hard to hard to imagine that. There isn't some. I'm surprised Bernie's not going to get capped. Nah, he's trying yeah. to take. He's trying to take a lot of money from a lot of people. Well, I mean, allegedly, he's, he's not going to. Someone taste testing his food. Oh uh, well, they're all. They're all. They will also try to propagandize. They can propagandize their way out of it, and they're probably trying to do that first. And then if that doesn't work, it's like, yeah, dude. Well, here's the thing. He's going to be pitching these ideas to Congress, and you know, 
Yeah, they're not going to let him He's going to need anything. millionaires' approvals to tax no millionaires. What. Yeah, yeah. True. Well, so, I think they're also so going to— Probably not. I think once we finally—because I think so, we'll have socialism at some point. In the meantime, people who are super rich are all going to migrate to government. So by the time we have socialism, they're just like the ruling elite in the government. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah. then we'd have health care, which would be tight. Healthcare would be nice. I don't know. That's that does confuse. Me. I got blood panels done recently. I went for a physical. Nice. Got blood panels. Uh, How's that going? What's blo- what's a blood panel? They just like do all your blood work. They dude, they're uh, stunting on me trying to say I was in pre-diabetic range for my A1C, <laughs> but it was only because I ate a full meal before I went. And you're, I think you're supposed to have a fasting uh, read. So I like pigged and was barely in pre-diabetic. So I'm like, that's not bad. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. One. I was so full, he was pushing on my stomach. Like, How's that feel? And I was like, oh. <laughs> I'm a little Perfect. full. I just ate two bowls of chili before I came here, so take it easy. <laughs> so my BMI was too fucking high. That pissed me right the fuck off. Really? Yeah, dude. I, I talked about this. Like yeah. Mark McGuire'd me. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I was just like, yeah, dude. He said your BMI is too high. A little high. He wants to see it come down a little. Where do you got to cut? Where? Yeah. He's not a bodybuilding coach. He just said, like, yeah, he didn't have a marker. Obviously, my hips, dude. My hips. You're just sure. circling. Yeah. I have oh, do you have handles? Bitch hips, dude. I'm starting to get them. They're, yeah, they come and go. Uh, well, they haven't gone in a while, but they, like, they're, they're, they might be here to stay. The um, I don't really care, but the the doc, it was so funny because I have an Asian doctor and he was like, so what do you do? And I was like, comedian. He's like, oh, what's that? Do? You know, nope. Try to like, yeah. yeah he, yep. he started to be like, well, it was almost. I almost felt like it was a little bit competitive at a point because he's like, "Oh," and he was like, "Well, there's. It's not really a comedy city, is it?" Uh, and he started being like, where, "Where do you even do that?" Around? Like, it's not really a doctor city, is it, bro? Yeah, dude. But yo, I heard Hahnemann just closed down. This yeah. one's next, bro. <laughs> but yeah, the, uh, it's like, yeah. I mean, all the good doctors are at Hopkins, but <laughs> I guess this scene's all right. <laughs> it was weird. It was. I was like, and I was about to instinctively be like, well, "Actually, I have a pot," and I was like. Yeah, man, not a big comedy town. It kind of sucks being me, yeah, so uh, yeah. we'll just let that one live. Don't Google it. The last thing I need is my doctor to have it out for me, bro. I feel like it would be good to have your doctor like listening to some of this. Why? Just get a good look into your life, see what you're doing, what your nah, habits dude. are. Well, fuck up my... You think so? Yeah. I feel like doctors... The more are, they know, the better they I feel can... like they're snitches for health insurance companies. They're just trying uh, to take negative... They're like, dude, you're there anymore, and they're like, do you fuck guys? And you're like, what? <laughs> like, have you only fucked women in the past 10 years? I'm like, shit, bro. <laughs> He's like, okay, I don't know, you gotta be weird about. It. They ask like weird, risky questions so that you would say yes, and then they jack up your health. It'd insurance. be nice if they like said that you were fat a nicer way. Yeah, you know what I mean, like the BMI thing. If he actually came in, it was like, well, it says on this chart that you could definitely hit a bunch of home runs. <laughs> <laughs> like, Thank you. Yeah, they should be. Like, so, what are you about to turn that all into muscle, or what's going <laughs> yeah. on here? Yeah, they should be. They should be a little more sensitive about that. Yeah, that that was like, dude. First of all, I was. How like, did he say it exactly? He was like, uh, BMI, it's, uh, well, there's nothing to be worried about, but it's up there a little, what do you, how much do you usually weigh? And I'm like, well, you know, I've been up, my weight fluctuates. I was like, so I've been like 180 and I've hovered around like 190 now, which I'm kind of digging, dude. Yeah. I've been liking having some yeah. beef on me. So I'm like, bro, I'm like 50 cent on the treadmill, dude. <laughs> how tall are you? Five ten and a half. Okay. It's got the official. Really? Got that half. Yeah, it's got the really? official. But Connie, you got some halfs in there, definitely. You got me? Show, throw it in. It you counts. Toss a half. It counts. Tells a half in there. Yeah. Five ten and a half. Five eleven, basically. Basically the same height as Allen Iverson, who's six. Five, who's six feet? So. True. Count it. I always thought you were six feet. I'm pretty much. Empty. Really? Damn, I thought you were my height. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. It happens all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Just you know. Did you go to the doctor? They make me take my sneakers off. It's a short person thing. You guys wouldn't get it. But like most of the time I'm moving through the world, I'm like, everyone's my height. And then every (laughs) once in a while, people get like too close and I'll be like, wait a minute. (laughs) What the fuck? Is this ground level? It happened to my mom actually over the weekend. She came up to me. She was like, what? Are you growing? I was like, no, mom, you're short. You've always been short. She was like, I didn't. I thought we were the same. (laughs) Oh, that feels good. She's like five foot tall. Really? Yeah. How tall are you? Five seven and a half. <laughs> yeah, five seven is no, not five, bad. Five eight, probably. Five, eight. No, five seven and a half. That's not bad. Yeah, no, no. Five seven's fine. It's all fine. Yeah, it's good. I think that's like my mom's height. <laughs> it's good. You gotta, you're like a decent lady. My mom's <laughs> tall for a woman. My mom's like five. Eight. Yeah, my mom's like five eight. I have girl cousins who just tower me, dude. There's mm. like girl cousins. Where are they? On my cousin's I'm side. Meet those fucking tall. They're they're over. glasses of milk. <laughs> they're around. You Ooh, gotta you guys gotta come to the compound milk. this summer. You have to, it's a must. I need to come to the compound. Gotta come to the compound. Come, yeah, yeah I'd hit love the to pool, see it. play some pool b ball, dude. It, I'm t- uh, I don't know if I can take a fight. What are you talking about? That's a fight. You think someone's gonna fight you? <laughs> yes, dude. If I'm oh. going to the compound, there's gonna be a lot of shit talking. 
Nah, they'll be chilling, dude. All right. They'll be chilling. There'll be people lecturing you on how awesome it was for your career, for you to get kicked True. off Saturday Live. <laughs> oh, oh, there's God, no bad dude. publicity. My fucking aunt. <laughs> oh, my aunt came over yesterday. Or as Chris would say, my aunt. <laughs> my aunt? auntie. Yeah. Uh, my I aunt. Said, I used to say aunt, and then I, I, I found out what it, how you're supposed to say it, and I changed. Dude, okay. that's English, dude. Yeah, that's old. Why are you acting so English? We're fucking yeah, bro. Amish, bro. Yo, sorry, Why are you bro? acting so fucking You're English? Amish? Yeah, yeah, Amish when people. Happen. When people accuse <laughs> <laughs> just now, just when people now. that's what Amish people accuse people of yeah. acting English. Can't, you can't be that's, using that's, any of this equipment if you're Amish. <laughs> Yo, chill, dude. We're Mennonites. We're on Rumspringer, bro. Rumspringer. We are on Rumspringer. <laughs> That'd be tight if we were actually Amish people on Rumspringer. You could be. You can be on Rumspringer as long as you want. Yeah, we should leak that. Like the White House does, just to get that out, get ahead of the narrative. Yeah, yeah. What, you're on Rumspringer? So, like, yeah, we were just trying out, saying, yeah, fuck true. up stuff. We want to see what happened. True. We could have claimed if, Amish. Uh, yeah. You should have. Dude, who's going to check you? Everyone. If you had to pull imagine, dude, I was, <laughs> Literally everyone I'm picturing, like, one of those, like, TV shows where the cruise pulls up on, like, a dusty gravel driveway, and you hand an Amish dude a briefcase, and you're like, I'm your boy. He's like, oh, I don't know. Yeah. It would be funny to see the Amish community try to court you guys back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... They would get me pretty quickly. You think so? Yeah. But for no, my, my aunt yeah. came in and her, her career idea for me was to go on the show Survivor. That was her genuine I actually advice. like this idea. She was like, you could, you could do Survivor. You could get really? you on there. And I was like, no, I could. First off, <laughs> I would leave immediately. I wouldn't make it off the dock. <laughs> I'd be like, we're getting on that boat with these. I'm not hanging out with these people. <laughs> The only person who's trying to leave the game and they keep voting. Yeah. Yeah, oh, my God. Keep me, keep me around because I'm the weakest. <laughs> <laughs> we have actually, a, we have a dog who works I couldn't for believe it. she said it. She's like, you should do Survivor. I was just trying to, I was watching the end of Narcos. And I was just like, yeah, all right. Thank you. She's like, you don't think? I was like, nah, I think I'm going to stay like just comedy. Yeah. She's like, you could do it on there. You could <laughs> do comedy yeah, on the Survivor, bro. Be, <laughs> oh, my God. It would be God. so funny. You on Survivor would be fucking Yeah, hilarious. obviously it would be hilarious. Being funny, too, on Survivor, that would be so funny. Dude. Just the whole time being like, I'm trying to leave. <laughs> yeah, Survivor. I want, I want to lose. I, get, I should do Real World. Real World would be all those awesome. Kids, they're all like 22. That'd be funny on Real World. I might end like, up sucking a boy if I was on that. Well, it'd be funny, too. Like, <laughs> like, Have you seen those kids? <laughs> My name's Trek. I'm a 24-year-old dude from Australia. And then it'd be like, uh, I'm Shane. I'm a cancel comedian. I live in the basement of this house. <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know, I come and go. <laughs> yeah, Viacom signed me to some weird contract, and I agreed to do this MTV show. Dude, we have a dog who's a mole in the reality TV business who's going to give us a DOS on whatever reality TV shows we mm. want. Yeah, bro. That's wow. good. That's good. And that's good. We ball, need that bro. DOS. I told him. I was like, Con up the DOS. He was like, I'll give I was like, let me know. I don't watch those shows, but hit me with the DOSes. Oh, my sister was watching one that's on right now. What it's is it? The craziest thing I've ever seen. It's uh, it's this show on Netflix where people get married before they meet each other. They sit in a room and talk fiance? to each other. No, not 90 Day. 90 Day Fiance rules. That's okay. that's when people are just stealing, like marrying somebody for a green card, right. and then whoever the American is is like, no, we're really in love. And yeah. <laughs> it's just some incredibly hot like chick from Guatemala. Yeah, damn, uh, he's a bitch. <laughs> oh, they're so mean. <laughs> they're so mean to the fiance. Uh, God, I could get into that. Just it's a really funny. One girl, yeah, one girl like I, I like took a trip. Like it, yeah. they were supposed to hang out for ninety days. She gets you know you get like ninety days to like be in America. Yeah, before, yeah. You know, like, get married and she, like she took like a month-long trip to like costa rica <laughs> was, like dancing on grinding on dudes and like setting, <laughs> sending her fiance like videos and stuff. god i want that i want to get a life co- i just want to get like a, a hot nope, immigrant lady in, life baby coach. life coach locked in imagine having an immigrant every <laughs> day in, dude. dude the grass is greener over oh, in honduras no. <laughs> so tr- trust me it's not <laughs> no no hear me out not non-sexual a you know a non-sexual overtly non-sexual the having a an immigrant life coach a dude who can just come over and be like the fuck are you doing dude you're like i want to play my game he's like dude i'm fucking was starving let's fucking go yeah. immigrant life coaches would be tight i would have that immigrant you. chilling in five minutes <laughs> <laughs> he'd be playing fucking battlefield one <laughs> 12 hours a day yeah. true that'd be hard to life coach them because you could be like all right well let's get some ice cream we'll get back to it and they're like oh my god <laughs> yeah, what yeah, is yeah. this I'm like let's uh let's jerk off on our phones and then go out <laughs> <like>, what <laughs> True. The Mexican dudes get their hands on those like they just fuck with pics on their phones. Yeah, they get They'll show you like a hot a picture of a hot chick, and it's like, yeah. hey, bro, do you know about fucking Pornhub, dude? I don't. I almost don't want to like blow. Be the first guy to give you a needle. Be like, yeah, 
Yeah, maybe maybe you have data privilege. I had to, no, they, no, you know, they, they, have, they don't have that. They don't have which no, they have cricket they mobile. Data, they don't they have, have Wi-Fi. Respecto. They have respecto. Cricket, <laughs> cricket, cricket <laughs> mobile was fucking uh, <laughs> slogan is respecto. They're very fucking respecto? slow Wi-Fi. Yeah, the Wi-Fi is not good. It's, it's pretty crappy. <laughs> Bad Wi-Fi down yeah, there. Yes, so you just got to get a good image. They get good JPEGs, dude, and they just like see. Yeah, yeah. They, they kind of ask you like, "Would you?" And you're like, "Obviously, bro." Yeah. <laughs> Would you? <laughs> like, yeah. How do you like that? And you're like, she's hot, dude. No, there's a there's a show where these people sit in a room across, like they do like speed dating in these rooms that it's like a confessional, so you can't see who's on the other side. Ooh. And they speed date, and at the end, you Just you somebody have to, jerking off. You have to marry them. <laughs> what? The show is you get engaged. Whoa! And the whole time they're like, oh my god, this is crazy. It's like yes, yeah, this, no, it is, is crazy. <laughs> this is retarded. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like this is, it's like I'm gonna marry somebody I've never even seen. This is crazy. Yeah, that's it's like yes, you're right. Ew, Why are you a, talking about it that way? Show? Oh, I forget. It's, you know, it's. I I watched a lot of girl TV this week. It happens. Yeah. That's watched, good. It's good to check in on girl, girl TV. TV is, it's dude, wild, dude, dude. I watched fucking. My mom always watches the home. The home now. What the fuck yeah, is that? Shopping HGTV. Network? HGTV. It is. It is porn for women oh it's crazy it's just a lady being like this is what i want the house to look like and every husband's like you know i gotta listen to the boss and build this perfect house for her and it's a, the the show i watched for five minutes before i turned it off my mom was like i'm watching that i was like no you're not <laughs> you don't need to be we're yeah. gonna find something we both like and i put on youtube memes <laughs> <laughs> that is fucked up because it, it warps women's perception of like how that shit works because every show is a girl like we should redo the entire house and then they're like they do this simulation and then like, the girl stands there the girl literally will stand there like with her arms folded yep bossing people around oh, like dude. being like eh, i don't know if i like it do you want to repaint this house again yeah dude. The, the husband's like uh yeah like, can we talk <laughs> off camera and the, whoever is running the show the property brothers <laughs> yo they might be on site for them dude. oh I, man i, I hate fuck those motherfuckers. the twins yes yeah, one's dude. the one's in like a, a lumiziano kind of suit and the other one they're both much, they're yeah. both yeah. lumiziano <laughs> suits <laughs> one's, oh god dude those guys they are the corniest dildos on earth i hate I'll those give you fucking that. guys i'll give you that they're I, up to no good fuck man they're doing something weird kitchen cousins were fucking they those dudes knew what was up yeah. I don't know if I saw a kitchen cousins. The fact they call themselves kitchen cousins is so <laughs> fucking. There were two dudes who were just cousins that like kind of both did contracting. Sounds um, kind of hot, actually. Kitchen cousins are kitchen just cousins too sounds hot like little up. secret terms you and your hot cousins have <laughs> yeah. when you meet down in the kitchen and touch. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm getting the refrigerator and it's like rub butts. Oh, Ooh, baby. The, come uh, on, man. That's a, that's a porn. Yikes. That's a good porn. Sorry. Oh, dude. They're, I, they're, want, I, I get those. Did you ever see stepsister yeah. like prank porn? Yeah. Be like, oh, I got you to look at my asshole. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's great. I've been watching uh, Last Minute Cream Pies where it's hand job to Last Minute Cream Pie. That's, yeah. That's a woo, baby. Yeah, the titles are always like uh, he, he had to come right away as soon as it's like, yes. Yeah, that gets my feet Wait, off so my so little they're floor in my them basement, off, dude. And then at the last second. Right when they start to fuck, the guy comes. Oh, we shouldn't. This is like talking about heroin. In front I of mean, fucking it really oh, is. God, yeah. You should have seen this boy in Europe. That's exactly Disgusting. what I was looking for. That's exactly what I was That's looking for. That's the thing for. you didn't know you wanted until yeah, you saw yeah, it. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Guys... It was actually, dude, it was so funny because uh, last night Brittany was like, <laughs> I feel like an old person Googling. And I'm just like, how do I? I can't find what I want. I know it's out there. She, just, it she described it. She was just like, I just really don't feel like having sex. What if I gave you a hand job and you could just like, because apparently semen will like trigger the. Um, yeah, it's good for the, the, trigger the birth. Oh, you're coming yeah. on the trigger, kid. Oh, trigger the birth. You got a kid due in like two days. Dude. You're nothing triggers, on your girl. Well, it, you're it, nothing it, on your baby. Dude. It, it, it simulates oxytocin, so it'll tri it'll trigger the Matt, birth. Matt, dude, she goes. You dish out facials, dude. <laughs> Don't care. <laughs> That's a cream pie facial. Ben Ben did it already. No problem. <laughs> no, once you're once no, you're that yeah. engaged in the circle of life, dude, it's all the same. Dude, no, there's your a kids membrane. moving there's around. A membrane. There's a mucus plug. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, I hope so. It's just my cum. It's the mucus plug. <laughs> just my old in the cum. shower huh? all the shower slugs are blocking <laughs> yeah basically it's shower slugs block when the mucus plug comes out <laughs> then the water could eventually break dude she described a hold last on. minute hold on, pie. Hold on, hold on, i was like hold on. Dude, sorry go ahead sorry, 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 sorry. so wait your kid like it does like react to things right like you can talk sure. touch it and talk so sure. it's down there catching loads like Ugh. no it's it's, it's, it's it's what do you think it's like it's cut <laughs> <laughs> we need cams it's cut off <laughs> 
Shane just mil- mimicked just being a greedy cum pig. But- <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like rocking in a hammock. It's like a rhythm. It's basically in an yeah. egg. It's just like floating in a different fucking world. And there's just, just some nuts. guy on the outside world <laughs> coming every now and again. No big. But yeah, dude, it's like yeah. When when you're so she described it. With the what? Your your bed. She described basically it. was like, oh my. She's like, honestly, like, would you be mad if I just gave you a hand job? She wants, the, she wants the CP to CP like make her go into birth. Sure. She just oh. and like I was like, no, no. I mean, I'm not. That wouldn't insult me at all if you did, dude. I'm like, be like, oh my god, I get a fucking. Yeah, so, that's exciting. Wow. It was just funny. That was like her saddest thing she could think about sex. And I'm like, well, I mean, you know, don't knock it. Yeah, I guess I'll try yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Wow. Yeah, dude. So it actually fucked me up so bad. I fapped last night. I was like, I, I, fuck. She keyed me up about that. I was like, I got to say. Nice. Damn. Yeah, man. man. Why didn't you just you. ask her to do it again? She didn't do it. She just talked about it. So then oh. I went and jerked off. Just unrelated. It, it just she jerked me. off in the other room and then ran in and CP'd. Well, I got, dude, I got, I got a lot of witnesses. But I, I'm like a sexual fucking oh, yeah. spy right now because I got my You're mother-in-law. You're the opera. You're up, <laughs> the ra- You're up at the rafters. <laughs> <laughs> my mother-in-law. The jerk-off police unit has He's now become the two. Dude, with a cape. There was only one jerk-off police. Now I have two jerk-off polices in my oh, house. Oh, so the, mo- the mother-in-law's around for the birth. Oh, so, yeah. She'll okay. be here for... Dude, I, w- I hope she moves in. It's really? Awesome. Having dude. I mean, you guys are aware of like triangles and patterns. How like that's the ideal? Yeah, come on, relationship. Man. I just like learned rods. about rods and cones. I'm more of a rod guy. <laughs> Spheres. <laughs> if you want to go three dimensional, we could take it there. Yeah. But yeah, we learned about that in family class. How like a two person, just a strictly two person relationship. Eventually, you get the stress just kind of builds. When you have a third person, you can kind of like distribute the stress and kind of shuffle it around. Yeah. Two outsider, two insiders, one outsider. Right, dude. It's just like. 50% of just the emotional work that you don't realize you're doing is now just being just her and her mom and having a blast talking, watching TV. Mm. It's just, that's fantastic. So, and then it's like, we'll be discussing things like financial stuff and her mom like, well, actually think about this. And it's just it's so nice. Dude. Wow. We sh- the fact that we don't have like multi-generational households is a, is a shame, dude. It's dude, the way I've seen oh, it. Shit. Yeah. With my, with my, brother. no, but we do have to wrap this one up. All right. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to have to wrap this episode up. Dude. We got a new episode coming right now. Oh, man. Uh, I think lamare has been sitting on the couch for a little over, Whoa. about an hour. Ooh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. He's on the casting couch? He's on the casting couch dude, right now. Beezer's probably grilling him. <laughs> like, now nah, I'm going to send this out. I'm going to have to see you, you, know, you naked. <laughs> contact. Uh, contact. Damn, what do you got? Damn. You got anything cool coming up? Uh, yeah, I'm with uh, Santino in Philly. Nice. March Tight. 6th and 7th. Nice. Philly punchline. Get tickets to that. That'll be fun. Yeah. Fifth, um, sixth, and seventh. Here, shut up. Fifth, sixth, and seventh. <laughs> <laughs> Fifth, sixth, and seventh. I'll be at the Stress Factory in Bridgeport, Connecticut. I thought you were going to read his dates. That'll be sick. <laughs> uh, shut up. The 12th and 13th. I'll be at the at Comedy Key West in Key West, Florida. The 12th and 13th. Oh, of May? Yeah. No, of March. Okay. Wow. Um, yeah. And then just a bunch of shit. Uh... Hilarities Cleveland, Thursday the 26th, and then Friday and Saturday the 27th, 28th, Skank Fest. Yeah. Watch out now. Yeah, I'll be at Skank Fest too. Yeah. That'll be fun. But, um, Chris, thank you for joining us. Yeah, yeah. Thanks always, being... always. Thanks, thanks thanks for having me. Very great yeah. guest. Yeah, yeah. Listen to Contact too. Spud's yeah, yeah. been singing high praise. <laughs> yeah, Are you back? Got... Are you doing it again? Yeah, 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 I was. Um, get I didn't do it again, yeah. Keep it going. I'll probably record it when I get back. Keep it going. You should dude. talk about what you did in London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will. I, I thought we were going to talk about it actually here, but I'll talk about it on the. I'll talk. Yeah, tune into. Yeah, listen to contact. We'll to talk listen about to that. contact, and I'll talk about it. Ah, fuck. Yeah, save some of the juice. Well, yeah, save yeah, some yeah, of the yeah, juice, yeah. I gotta, dude. yeah, I gotta save a story that's with some heat for. Oh, contact. All right. All right. Thanks. Yep.